Welcome to Perry Style Poem. It is a channel with lots of summaries for English. Today we are going to study a lesson from Anrudu. It is Chapter 8. A Short Monsoon Diary. A Short Monsoon Diary. A thing of beauty is joy forever. In this lesson there are some extracts from Ruskin Bond's diary. They show the silent miracles and beauty of nature. They are about author's experiences during the monsoon months in Musa Ori. Monsoon starts in the last week, of, last week of June and continues till the end of September. June 24. Choose only one master that is nature. Nature is the most beautiful thing in the world. This is the first day in our chapter which is also the first day of monsoon mist. The mist has concealed the hills and silenced the birds. Everything looks like a sleeping yard. The author hears Bija calling to his sister. However the mist doesn't let him see Bija. The mist changes the hills in two ways at first it conceals the hills from view and secondly it also makes them silent. June 25th. Rainy days are the most exciting days. The rain is warm and humid, humid due to end of June. So it is not as uncomfortable as the rain in winter. The flowers are coming up. The first cobra lily rears its head from the ferns. He describes the hill station and valley as a paradise that might have been. June 27. Change is the law of nature. The rain changes the nature. The monsoon has brought leeches and a leopard. Some seasonal flowers also appear. More importantly new birds like many vets appear. These are brightly colored birds. Due to rain they, all, they also sit silently among the leaves. August 2nd. It has rained all night. The sound of the rainfall on the tin roof pleases the author. One is untouched and yet in touch with the rain due to few holes in the roof. August 3rd. Sometimes, a small change pleases us. The same change is seen in the nature after the continuous rain. There is sunshine. People, animals, and birds are out in the open once again. The song of a whistling thrush coming from a distance pleases the author. August 12th. Each bright color suits with a light one. One could only pace in the room or look out of the window. It has been raining non-stop for more than a week. Everything is damp. One can go out only with an umbrella. The hills are covered with colorful flowers and looks like a curtain. August 31st. A flower is beautiful because of its colors. Monsoon growth is visible everywhere. The seeds of the cobra lily are turning red which is an indication of retreating rains. Due to over rain increasing coldness, snakes and rodents come out and take shelter in roofs, attics and, attics and go downs. October 3rd. This year monsoon rain continued much longer than usual. Now there is winter rain. A hailstorm has cleared the sky. January 26th. The poem describes our feelings more than anything. The author wrote a poem about winter rain. He tells that it makes the author more lonely. Unlike the monsoon rain, there are no flowers in the winter rain. March 23rd. The cold winter breaker brings beauty as well as pain. Such pain comes to an end. After a hailstorm, there is a rainbow in the clear sky which indicates that there will be a bright day ahead. In this way such a beautiful sight ends in positive spirit. I hope that you have understood the chapter. Thank you to all the invisible fingers who supported Perry Style Poem.